Hi everybody, this is Lance Corporal Hawk 30 and I'm going to be starting doing something that I kind of said I was going to be doing before, starting some game reviews. Now I had said I was going to be showing some from for the phone, but I'm going to be talking about some games that I've been purchased recently from the Rare Replay disc. And I just wanted to <coughs> excuse me, tell people how I felt about each game as I finished playing them. And I just recently finished one of the games, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Now, I gotta say, it was very crude, very rude, but I enjoyed it. I had a great enjoyment for it. Granted, there were a couple of parts that I had some serious rage at, because it was just so insanely tricky, just for me, at these couple of parts. I, I did eventually figure out a way to do it, but still, it was annoying getting up to the point of figuring out. Now... Um, that's just the first game that I've finished. That's not the only game I've started. I've started Banjo-Kazooie as well as Banjo-Tooie. However, once I finish, however, I won't be doing reviews of those games since they are games that I had played previously. Now, Conker's Bad Fur Day, my review is, it's a great game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Unless you're someone who does not care for crude, rude humor, then I would strongly suggest playing it too. Like, especially if you enjoy that kind of humor. I mean, I'm not going to give away anything because of spoilers, but it was just so fun. I had more fun playing that game than I have had playing a lot of other games in a long time. That's not to say there haven't been some good games that I have played, just there's not many that I've had so many smiling laughing moments playing and holy crap i love this game so i'm gonna to try to make the review not very long but there will be a couple of spoilers where to begin so like the start you start start out as soon as you're able to control conquer it's being hung over and got to do complete a task like which works as a reaction command kind of although not Although it's in a set place. And you use Alka Seltzer to get better. It's like, huh, well, this is gonna be an interesting dynamic throughout the game. But there are so many parts that's just like, how retarded were they planning on making this? And it actually works for the game. Like the main villains, they're so retarded and ridiculous, and some of them is just actual stupid. And some of the enemies is just like, really? Really? Why did they think of making this this way? Or why do they have this be the reason why this character gets hurt? Like, there's an example of a boss fight, probably the best boss fight in the whole game, called the Great Mighty Pooh. It's a giant pile of crap with sweet corn for teeth. That sings a opera. Who thinks of, hey, let's make a boss that's a pile of crap. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. What are we going to do to make him even more ridiculous, more better? I know, let's get an opera singer to voice him. Ooh, it'll work. How does that formula work? I don't know how, but it does. And you got to throw toilet paper in his mouth to beat him. I never would have thought that if I hadn't have played it myself or heard about it prior, which got me interested in playing it. And there's just so many other things that's ridiculous about it that I can't even begin to... I don't even know which one to start talking about. I'm not going to try to be not very spoiler alertish here, but... Just wow. Just wow. I don't even know what all to say other than it's a fun game. And the ending, it was a good ending, but it was also kind of sad. Very bittersweet. And if anybody from Rare where starts watching this is the guys that make that make the game for those who don't know then make a second conquer game that's all i got to say i know they were making it they were had plans and everything to make it before they were bought out by microsoft which sucks cuz that would have made a great sequel whatever they were planning i'm sure and i so so would want another game that was not solely a reboot which they had a conquer live and reloaded as this it was the same game but improved graphics but I, I read somewhere that they had some more slightly more censorship on that than they did in this and there's already a little bit of censorship in this not much but still 
and holy crap, holy crap, I cannot even think. I can't even think of what all to say how good a sequel would be with better graphics. I've just got to say, Rare, make another one. Make another one and make it just as good. And I love the cartoony feel of it and yet the crudeness of it. So, I'm going to end it off here because I don't want it to be too terribly long. Now, there are parts that I did like, but I also kind of want to keep some spoilers out of this. Just in case people have an interest in playing it, I don't want them to know the ending. and I don't want them to know some important highlight moments. I don't want them to know some of the plot line in some parts, even though it kind of seems at times that there's no real plot other than Conquer wants to go home and go to bed. So, if anybody has an interest in playing this, I would definitely suggest it. Definitely. It's available now on the Xbox One as Conker's Bad Fur Day, part of the Rare Replay Collection, which is part of 30 games celebrating 30 years of Rare's time as a game developer since 1983, I believe. And also, I'm not sure if it's still on the Xbox Live Arcade as a solo game, which I think it is for the 360 if you don't have it, if you want to get it by itself, but you don't have it upgraded yet. So, I'm just going to say this, if you are a fan of crude humor in video games and a total ridiculousness, I would definitely suggest playing this. If you're not, then, well, it might not be for you. Or if you're okay with that, I would play it, because it's got some, it's got some better platforming than some other games that are out there now. Like, I can't think of any examples, but I know this to be true. And the humor is very on point at times. There are so many movie references in it. I won't say which ones, just in case you want to go in and figure out what they are for yourself. So, if you like this video, please leave a like or a comment or sub even subscribe if you feel like it. So, I would strongly suggest go checking out the game. Unless you don't like crude humor and some offensiveness, in which case, steer clear. But otherwise... I hope you enjoy the video. I hope if you have an interest, go enjoy the game. This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30, and I will see you later.